Well, good afternoon, YouTube channel. It's Belmont here. And this little short video is meant for a new acquaintance to the channel whose name I will not share yet, but he is a recent acquaintance and he was eager to learn a new survival skill. So, while common bonding with uh, TV shows like Mansers, I told him about my hobby. And he admitted he bought a James Bond credit card pick set and it came with the acrylic lock that was easy to see through and easy to pick. So I gave him a gander at my collection and sent him a link to well my YouTube right here. So, until they pick up a budget-friendly set, here is a little motivation. And not just for my acquaintance, but everyone. This is nothing more than what you would find in a store. This rolled up plastic can be used as shims for a door. You can either cut them down or you can use them as the size they are. And they're made from nothing more than a sturdy plastic bottle, which actually came from the Dollar Tree is the um, Sangarine bottles. They're quite durable. Just cut off the top part and the bottom, and you have a very usable uh, two inch tall and well, I'd say about eight inches long uh, sheet of plastic. Uh, for all of those who do a lot of bypassing with um, <clears throat> the master combination locks with these separate dials, then I'm very sure you know what these are. These are nothing more than a piece of aluminum can cut into the shape of a bypass knife. I will make a note and say that a channel known as Contingency Labs has also shown this in one of their videos, oh, about six months to a year ago. So they show you how to make it from a beaten up soda can. You can easily cut them from a regular soda can as is. This Love little, well, wouldn't exactly say it's lovely, it's a staple. It's a heavy duty staple that was pulled out of a mattress and bent into shapes like a, like a ladder, or sorry, a staircase. The idea is that you use this to bypass handcuffs in lieu of a key. So it's definitely a ladder to help get you up in your experience. These are ordinary common items found in your local store. Well, sort of. Those are push pins, which 
They are quite durable and can be used in place of a pick. You have your bobby pins. You have a bobby pin shaped into a tension wrench. You have a large paper clip bent into the shape of a rough tension wrench for wide open keyways. And we have a bra wire, a bent off piece of bra wire bent with a well, set of pliers and into the general shape of a tension wrench. And here is a set of four paper clips with a reasonable amount of electrical tape to secure and hold it together and uh, give you a bit of a handle. Bent into rough shapes of uh, improvised picks. And of course, we have improvised padlock shims made from nothing more than an empty Mountain Dew can. And here's a couple of hastily made shims from said shim stock. And I like to emphasize that these, these are just ordinary items you find on your way. You can find paper clips on the ground or you can buy the non-coated variety at your local store, Walmart, grocery store, what have you. <clears throat> and you can bend them into the shape shown and you can start trying to plug away at a Picking a lock. These are all simply tools. The real knowledge comes from what you learn with your mind and then practice. And, well, old Bosnian Shill Bill did a video about oh, seven years ago called The Secret to Lock Picking and there is no secret, just practice. Putting the practical knowledge that you've gained into practice by picking the locks. The more you pick, the faster you can open them. The quick rush of adrenaline you get in your system when you hear that click but don't abuse it. This is the hobby of lock sport. It's, it's not to go wild on the world and think you're a cat burglar or anything like that. You don't pick locks in use unless you have the owner's express permission which is the cardinal rule for lock sport. And in the cases of locksmiths who are paid to open up locks, yes, some actually still pick locks. Others will be tool jockeys and pull out a grinder and simply go to town on the lock to open it then, or even pull out a drill and start drilling a lock. And then you are stuck with a bill for well, about 300 bucks and a new lock that they put on your door. So if your idea is to learn a new skill, go for it. But be smart about it. The idea is it's a hobby, it's a skill, 
not something you're going to try and get yourself in trouble with. So, for all watching, this is Belmont saying, stick around.